stuck out there. She have to write everything in her made-up gibberish code. Fucking Marshall with her CIA spy shit. God. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. The problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the Hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the Hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay Hiss. I have They're to go. There. We go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the Hiss signal I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? It's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the Hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Hey there, Faden. Just when I thought things were stabilizing, Marshall abandons us. About this Arish guy. I heard some rangers saying he saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish got them out. All right, but still, a security guard leading rangers? I don't know if I like taking orders from a mall cop. They marched through here. Why the fuck didn't we put a bullet in that thing's head? I heard it's the director's brother. Would you shoot your brother? That's no one's brother anymore.
Richard is the director's brother? Brother? And she brought him here? She's gonna get us all killed. What if she's working with the Hiss? Isn't it strange she showed up just when he did? This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. The property is the jukebox all the night. I'm going to sleep in the tower. The use of the jukebox to travel to the glory threshold to engage in... Hi, Jesse. I should be enjoy your data. Oh, I will. They're endangering us by bringing it this. If Trent was still around, he'd have stopped. Trent was part of the same shadowy group that was responsible for every disaster this country's ever seen. Zachariah Trent was a national hero. Keep your conspiracy nonsense to yourself. Restored HRA production. They're already getting other survivors out of sea. Great. Maybe I can get back to my office soon. Marshall orders us to just sit on our asses and then leave? What's the deal? She must have her reasons. Probably up to people are finding their way here. The director must be securing other samples. I'll just keep managing inventory. the place while you're gone.
How's it looking out there? Hello, Jesse. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Please to stop be true. That. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only true a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy Stop it! Orangeville! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trunch took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a pause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. When your worms of tin, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. 
The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the keycard to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. You are a worm through time. The others will with you. Happiness comes with white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is near. Why are you dissected that free mutation you walked up? Observation. It's a, a place of power, an ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note, for more details on control points and research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, we refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. Thank you. 
new prime candidates. The Bureau needs a director. Our future. P6 and P7. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector so will. Much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. I mean, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy. So much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. It's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable.
There was an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's, he, he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No! That's just stupid! Come on! That has nothing to do with this. Nothing! This light projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me.
I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? Congratulations! Some brains can lift objects, like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> Listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps.
Mark Gibson, male, age 28, returned from the astral plane approximately 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Patient is experiencing migraine-like pain, intense pressure behind the eyes, and partial blindness. He has no recollection of his time in the astral plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no immediate cause, so we will be sending the patient for x-rays and... What the fuck is that thing? Got it burst right out of him. Code Black! Get Marshall!
I studied what happened in Ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. Candidates. Experiments. going back home. Of course we are. It started there, and it's... Gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel there.
Altite. Something's blocking it.
listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years on the right. They found out. I don't know what would happen. If you found out, brother. The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, caller. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language, caller. It may be 2 a.m., but we're still a family show. I'm sorry. It's just my brother was there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm... I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Fort Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. Good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world. In the form of altered... These forces gravitate to archetypal objects on a television, a supposedly haunted house. So, clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Or die trying. of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, proposed by Dr. Carnival. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty They have on ordinary. It's all here. 
here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? a poem last time we talked by Thomas Zane yes beyond the shadow you settle for there's a miracle illuminated hmm. I looked the poem up if only I couldn't find any the whole landfill here in the middle of New York and nobody saw a thing pretty unbelievable
Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Is under quarantine. I wouldn't go in there without talking to Underhill first. Even Excuse if you have... me. Are you lost? Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the Rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. Have you worked with Emily Pope? 
Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a but coming. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. So, is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then... Yes. However, I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course, Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau? Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. I was employed here for a time, straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened? About four months ago, yes. Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me, and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien biosphere. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. So she's a professor. That explains a lot. The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. A blooming, if you will. I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. Thanks for the information. My pleasure.
kontak ke Chanitor Review Unit di Kenderu. Broken. How many dead ends can this place have? We need to find Ati. Find the others. No, Artie. Where is he? Now this boy left, said the son of Anniki Tahti. My assistant will keep work in the club and the house standing. Lomille lumps, holiday humps. How can anyone even get out of here while the building's sealed? Let alone go on a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> 